Hello everyone. I'd like to show you my version of the world's first passenger railway carriage. This was made by the world famous railway engineer called George Stevenson in 1825. Um, it was pulled behind one of his locals called Locomotion um, from Liverpool to Manchester when there were other wagons carrying coal and flour. This one carried passengers for the first time in an enclosed situation. Um, there were, as you can see behind, converted coal wagons where people stood while being pulled by a locomotive so I've made this from card uh, it's not an exact uh, replica um, because when I made it following the photographs I saw of it um, it would have looked totally stupid because the actual uh, um, coach or cabin uh, is inside the wheels on the, on, on the uh, original carriage so if you can imagine that the the railway gauge or the track gauge is four foot eight and a half inches so we if we assume that the space between the wheels is four foot that means that the actual body of the carriage is four foot or less wide by approximately ten feet long and I estimate about eight feet high with a door at, at the uh, rear. This one is facing the front, just for this purpose of showing you. Um, and also, um, there's an open air museum in a, uh, County Durham, at a place called Beamish, where they have a replica of George Stevenson's locomotion loco, and this experiment, as it was called, this was the world's first enclosed passenger carriage and at the Bemis Museum it's actually finished in a light blue um, but I wanted to finish it in um, like stained wood colours because when I first saw the pictures of it uh, they weren't in colour and from what I could see it looked like a basically a garden shed on wheels. So. As you can appreciate, there wasn't a lot of room inside. If it's four feet wide at the outside, it's less than four foot inside. And uh, benches will run uh, the length of the wagon. So people's knees must have been uh, colliding with each other. And it must have been very uncomfortable sitting on wooden benches. So that's, uh, like I say, it's my interpretation of it. Um, and now we'll see it running. Okay, so here we are. It's been pulled by my handmade local I call Locket. As I made it in the first lockdown, it's made from bits and pieces from my junk box. And it's, in theory, it's a copy of the principle of San Perer, one of the entries into the Rainhill Trials. San Perer had two vertical cylinders working through the connecting rod to the rear wheels and then more connecting rods to the front wheels so it was four wheel drive the original Saint Pierre was uh, boiler fed from the front it pushed a small wagon with coal and water and the fireman had to shovel the coal in from the front so I've made just my interpretation of what a locomotive would have looked like in the 1820s and it's got the coal tender with the barrels of water there's experiment then we have the open coal wagon and first class closed I thought they'd add a bit of luxury for some people So again, this is just my um, version of 
a locomotive locom a locomotive from the 1820s it's uh, it's nice to see things from from um the past i'm a, i love history and i'd like to go to these museums one day and see these old things in actually replicas working it's amazing how people have made them so this is my version of an 1820s loco running quite well and hopefully you can see the actions of the pistons and the connecting rods okay so thank you for watching bye now